you got a haircut. What's up with the faux hawk thing? Uh, I don't know. I just changed it up a little bit. Uh, Hamani, our, pretty, our team barber, you know, cut me. Yeah, shout out to Hamani. Uh, he, our team barber kind of just hooked me up. And, you know, I think it looks good. I like it. So turning attention now, had to get that one out there. Yeah, yeah. So I saw that the other day, and I, I had to get that one in there. Uh, turning attention to Arizona, um, is this is yesterday and today really the first couple days that you've really hammered home time to get ready for Arizona, or has it been one of those you've been focusing on it all week? Um, yeah, just pretty much today we put in some, uh, some of our game plan. Um, that's kind of how it works. So today's like a Monday practice. You know, we get Sunday off to recover and then Monday practice. So we're kind of working on new plays into the, into the offense and kind of getting, it, getting everything down, you know, the schemes that we're going to run. And we're just, you know, as the week progresses, we should get better and be ready, we'll be ready to play. Does it feel like players are a little more, um, a little more excited for this game versus an, any other game uh, so far this season? Um, I wouldn't say more excited. I definitely think a little bit more fresh, a little bit more uh, like healthy and prepared to go because we got that, that bye week this mm -hmm. week. So, you know, we had a couple of days of practice, but we didn't, you know, kill ourselves. So, you know, our legs are feeling good. We're feeling confident. Mentally, we're alert. Um, got some good rest these past couple of days. So I think yeah, as the week goes on, we'll be a little bit more fresh. It's like, it feels like the first week of fall camp, kind of, yeah. Looking at Arizona, you weren't at that game. No. I'm, I'm guessing you were watching from home when, yeah. when everything unfolded. Uh, what was it like watching that interception, that freak flip interception from home? Uh, it was pretty cool. I was a cool play, you know. Um, so stuff like that is exciting, what makes football exciting. So, you know, I give it to the, the corner to, for making a heads up play and knowing that he can jump out of bounds without touching, touching, touching the ground and throw it back in. Um, and, you know, sometimes you got to learn from him. You got to try to catch the ball. You know, sometimes you don't always catch it, but you got to be prepared to make a play on the ball. If, you know, if you don't catch it as a receiver, you turn into a DB once the ball's in the air and you can't catch it. Marcus was saying that he pretty much, he, he has a lot of respect for the, you know, for that play, the way that Arizona yeah. uh, sort of let it, the way that it just went. Do you, is, is that really the same feeling amongst the team as, all right, I see you, is yeah. it sort of, and that seems like how you're taking the approach for this week? I think you can say that just because, you know, that play especially, um, to, for that to happen, you have to have all 11 guys swarm to the ball because, you know, we got tips in there, there has to be somebody there to, to catch it, and then there was three or four guys there to block, yeah. you know, the offensive linemen and the quarterback for a good return. So, you know, um, it's just, it's respect, you know, it's respectable just, as any, as any offensive player, you know, or any defensive player, you see a great play, you see a great defense, you see a great offense. You know, you saw last week against Cal, they put up 30 some points in the fourth quarter. So, you know, they're definitely capable. So I think we're just gonna be prepared to play and, and, and you know, come ready and come with a little bit of edge knowing that, you know, last year we gave up a loss and hopefully this year we can change that. Derek wouldn't give any bulletin board material to Arizona. Derek Malone wouldn't give any bulletin board to Arizona. Um, the way he was talking about how excited he was. Are you a little, are you looking forward to Arizona considering the way it went last year? Um, I, I mean, I guess you know, it's going to be a home game. It would have been kind of cool to play down there um, just because I have a lot of friends and family down there. Yeah. Um, but a home game, you know, I know a few of the guys on the team, not too, too many. Um, I'm just going to treat it like any other game. I'm sure they're going to, you know, have something to say to me, I guess, being from Arizona. But, you know, being from Phoenix and they're from Tucson, it's a little bit different. You know, they don't, they don't really inter intermingle too much. So, you know, I'm pretty excited. I'm just I'm just ready to play. It's exciting to play, get, get a play against a, a home state team. Do you know anybody from, on the Arizona roster? Yeah, I know uh, Nate Phillips. Um, I know New Solomon. I played with him in the All-Star All -Star game my senior year. Um, let me think. I think one of the... Dean for the backs, the Jamar Allah, I played against him. There's, there's a few guys that were around the Phoenix area that I played against uh, throughout my high school career that ended up there. Kalen Dabosky and some of those guys. I know we, we know about Nate Phillips. He's an incredible talent. Yeah. But Anu Solomon is a freshman who's, who in ways is sort of bursting yeah. onto the scene. He's been pretty darn consistent, been playing really well for a freshman. Uh, is that as expected from what you remember of him or what what do you see and when you watch him play um he was a great athlete when we when we played together in the all-star game um uh, he he actually was a great runner as well so you know to see him just chill in the pocket and step back and read the offense you know really opens up his game because not everybody knows that he can he can scramble and run and he's a good athlete he can run around and, and make plays extend plays so you know to be able to see him kind of you know i didn't really see it the, the 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 five days we were we were practicing together but see him to sit back there and be able to read, pick apart the defense and throw the ball where you know, it needs to go is really impressive. And um, some of those guys like Nate Phillips, like you said, he's a great athlete. We played against him in the playoffs 
um, like my junior high school, Basher actually beat us, and he, yeah. was, he was all the field, probably three or four touchdowns, something like that. So, yeah, he's, he's impressive as well. Does it make you a little more excited to get out there, see those guys again on the field, and, and sort of show them what you've been able to do too? Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah.